Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a top three sewing or crafting related books. Um, when I first started sewing, I was more self-taught. I had somebody first introduce me to sewing, um, but then every time, the further I got in sewing, the more I just kind of taught myself. Um, and I really felt that I found that sewing books were really influential in getting me to where I am now. You know, it was it was easy to flip through a sewing book and figure out, you know, the problem I, I was having or, you know, find a specific technique I needed to do. Um, and so I just kind of want to share some of the books that I think is really good and I think everybody should have in their um, sewing room. So the first book I got was uh, Sew Step by Step and this is by uh, DK. Now this is the first or uh, yeah, the person really only uh, sewing encyclopedia that I have. Um, I found this so great. They have multiple sections, and in each section they have um, different categories. So as you can see here, so they have stuff like the you know sewing equipment, things that you need, um, the fabric, you know what they are, what the fabric content normally is. Um, and then they also have uh, tutorials on how to do certain things. Um, I, I always, as you can see, I always went back to this specific page um, for zippers. And this is, you know, they'll show you step by step. You know, they even showed you how to shorten them, um, how to stitch them on and stuff like that. And how to do different uh, zippers. I really thought this book was so good because... Um, I am much more of a visual person. I am not someone who can just, you, you know, I can just read a list of directions and do anything. Like, I have to physically see what it is, how is it being done, and then so I can then repeat it and do it myself. So this book was really, really great for that. There were so many um, different things that I had learned. Like, let me see if I can find, like for darts and stuff. Um, it really showed me how to properly do a dart and how to just, they even showed you how to press it so you're not pressing it all, especially because certain darts are supposed to be pressed um, either to the left or to the right depending on where they're at and so it kind of tells you about that and shows you how to press it um, and I just really love this book. Um, this is a book that even now I still go to, um, you know, because sometimes if you're not doing a specific technique time and time again you forget like like I said like I have the zippers um, label right here so I can easily get back to it because I I don't do zippers as much as um, stuff like buttons and buttonholes so zippers are always something that I always kind of forget um, because there's like things like the lap zipper the invisible zip um, and sometimes you have you know the open end zipper so sometimes it's, it's easy to forget about these specific techniques but this book is just great to just flip through and find exactly what you need you know and it's not really one of those books where you really have to sit through and read everything it's just kind of point you in the right, right direction of everything that you need to do um so yeah so this is a really good book um i know there's a few other um sewing step by steps but just when you're looking for one like this definitely look for one that has lots of pictures um so that you can visually see what they're talking about um it's hard, like i said it's harder to really do things especially with sewing um when it shows written up directions. So I definitely suggest this. My next book, now this one I actually just recently got, um, I think around Christmas time. Um, and the reason why, actually let me show you the book first before I start explaining. Um, so it's the Tilling the Buttons stretch. Now, when I first started sewing, um, my, my style was a lot of dresses, a lot of skirts. So I really didn't need or really want to wear a lot of like t-shirts um, but as my style has evolved I started to in, um, involve them more in into my wardrobe but I really noticed that I was lacking um, good direction because even though I'm I think I'm fairly well working with you know kind or satin you know different things um, or even denim when it came to knit I really wasn't 100% sure what I was doing and I didn't know where I could go for that so when Tilling the Bands came out with this book I know I I knew I had to get my hands on this, um, so yeah, definitely I asked it for, for Christmas, um, and it's just such a great book. This was one of my favorites because it talks about, like, 
almost a lot of different sewing books it doesn't just give you certain patterns it talks about you know this talks about you know knit fabric where you need to be looking out for the things that you should get um, and then it has a bunch of different patterns this is the content um, so it's seven chapters and um, if you don't know who Tilly in the buttons is Tilly um, she has her own blog and that she also was on um, uh, Great Britain Great British Sewing Bee and uh, so she did that as well so this book um, it just has amazing directions um, for all their sewing for sewing with knits they talked about they have a bunch of tips and tricks which I found very helpful because there's certain things that you don't know like it was talking about how to add um, a little ribbon on your seam especially on your shoulder seam because sometimes they stretch out over time and so if you have ribbon there it won't stretch out so they have like a bunch of tips and tricks um, I made I made a bunch of let me see if I can get a good picture of this I made a bunch of the flaky baseball tee I really liked it I liked the fact that it wasn't like too tight it was kind of more um, loose fitting a t-shirt and it's just an amazing um, pattern as well um, I also made the um, I made this is over here I made the prayer sweater and dress but I think um, every time it, two of the times I made it I had the wrong fabric um, they weren't as stretchy as I needed them to be so I definitely would like to remake it again um, and get maybe a more stretchy um, knit so that it's not so uh, tight I'm actually going to be making soon. I'm going to make the uh, Stella jogger because it's a, a hidden jogger, but I just want to make pants. Um, I think they would just be great pajama pants. Um, but yeah, this pattern, this um, book is really great. It has the patterns in the back, as you can see. Now, the only thing um, when I got this book, I've never worked with um, or gotten a sewing book like this where you had to trace out the patterns. Um, the patterns, I think they, I'm trying to remember, they're, they're, they're double-sided. I don't think they overlap, um, so I didn't find it too hard to trace out. Um, as long as you just get a good lighting area and just make sure you have a thin but kind of thick paper on top and just um, pattern trace, you should be fine. But this is definitely 100% something I would suggest for um, people who want to get into knits. It really has clear, um, clear and concise instructions. Um, it's very simple and easy to understand and there's a lot of pictures you know showing you step by step how to do things um, and then it just shows like different tips and tricks so I really uh, think this is probably one of the best um, sewing books to have in your sewing collection now the last one but not least is actually not um, necessarily sewing um, you can sew uh, but it's actually the modern the modern natural dyer um, I got this because I really wanted to start um, natural dyeing and just experiment with it, um, try something new. I always, um, obviously I sew when I knit, but I've never dyed before. Um, so this is really cool. It talks about natural dyeing. Um, it talks about, you know, certain flowers that you can get, certain flowers, or um, even at one point even talks about bugs that you can get to dye uh, the fabric. What I like about this is that it's not just about fabric, it also talks about yarn and different um, materials. So it talks about things that are natural, um, like fibers and things from the earth. And they also talk about things from animals or, you know, such as wool and silk. And I explain to you the different techniques that you need to do when you're making, when you're dying with, um, with a plant-based uh, fiber compared to a animal-based fiber. So I just thought it was very interesting. Um, I've actually dyed a couple of things with this. I had, um, did a, I dyed with uh, some, I bought a bouquet of flowers and I eco printed um, and I used um, their tutorial onto how to prep the fabric and everything in regard to that. So it was just, it's such a good detailed um, explanation. I felt like no matter where you're at, you can start and not be so intimidated. It really explained a lot of things as to how to do things. Um, they have different tutorials. I think this one's like for their, a berry patch necklace. Um, they have stuff like yarns or you know maybe things you already have. Oh, I use this. 
when I was doing my eco dyeing. And this one was the flowers at my fingertips sewing kit. So I followed the kind of tutorial, even though I didn't make um, a sewing kit, but I followed the general tutorial onto how they eco printed the flowers onto the fabric. So I think this was just a really cool, um, a cool book in regards to if you want to try to you know dye your fabric before you make something cool I think this would just be the perfect um, book for that and it's awesome because it talks about natural dyeing and you know using things you could really have or things that you could find in your backyard um, so I just really love it so I mean that's it for today uh, I hope you enjoy and if you have any specific sewing books that you like uh, definitely put them in the, in the comments below I would love to hear what is your suggested sewing books um, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye!